What's up guys, Major League Fishing Pro Josh Bertrand here, and today we are talking about new forward-facing sonar technology and techniques. You know, this is something that's been around for five or six years, and uh, you know, every single day that goes by, there's people finding new ways to utilize this technology. We're seeing it utilized on lakes that we never thought were possible, um, different times of year that we never thought it would work, that's shallow to deep, dirty water, clear water, everywhere in between. It's just something that helps you out as a serious bass angler when you're on the water. If you're a serious bass angler, you wanna catch more fish, whether it's just for fun or in tournaments, forward-facing sonar will help you catch more fish. It's, it's not a matter of like, if it, it will help you catch more fish. And uh, you know, as time goes on, we're seeing guys stretch the limits and boundaries of what they do with it. And it's really, really neat. Um, you know, we're seeing companies come out with new baits. We're seeing anglers take those baits and use them in really unique scenarios and situations. Um, so, you know, everything I tell you now in two years, there's gonna be way, way more stuff, uh, you know, beyond this, but there's a couple of cool new baits that Berkeley's come out with that are optimized for forward-facing sonar. I had the chance to test them out for about a year and, um, you know, help the company develop these products. And you know, go, just going through that, I've got a year's worth of experience with basically two brand new baits and two brand new techniques that are uh, you know new to the bass fishing world. So I'm pretty excited to show those to you. Uh, I'm, sure you's, I'm sure you've seen them floating around the internet. A lot of you have probably gone out and purchased some of these baits, but uh, let's walk through the Berkeley Finisher and the Berkeley Credge and show you guys the situations that I've had success with these baits. We're gonna start out here with the finisher. You can see right here, it's a very unique looking bait. Um, there's not a lot like it out there. It doesn't have a bill, it doesn't have any blades, it doesn't have any props. Um, it's a hard bait, it's heavily weighted, and it's designed to get down to the fish quickly. And the key to this thing is once you get down to the fish quickly, you're able to keep it in front of the fish for a long time. The way that we're able to do this is we created a lot of lateral action without a lot of action coming towards you. So, you know, you cast this thing out, it gets down to the fish, and as you start working it, it's gonna start dancing in that water column in front of that fish. And the more slack you have in your line, the more it's gonna go side to side, up and down. But the key there is you're, you're tantalizing that fish, you're teasing that fish into biting without pulling it away. You're keeping the bait in the strike zone. Um, there's a lot of baits that stay in the strike zone for a long time. A jerk bait's a really good example of that, right? And it's a very popular forward facing sonar bait. But the cool thing with the finisher is and the depth is unlimited. With the jerk bait, you're limited to, okay, this is a six foot diving jerk bait. Fish that are within that realm are gonna be able to be caught on this thing. You could fish this up in six feet, you could fish it down in 20 feet. So the fact that it sinks almost like a rock, but you can get it to stay in that strike zone when you start working it is really cool. And if you look at it on the live scope screen while you're working it, you could aggressively be fishing your rod and that bait almost looks like it's sitting still because of the action that we talked about. It comes in three sizes, a five, a seven, and a nine. This is the seven, the in-between size, and it's my favorite. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a size where you're still throwing it on a spinning rod. It casts really well. Like I said, it's, it's pretty heavily weighted. So it casts like a little bullet. And um, you, get, you see a fish on your graph or a school of fish, you get it to them quick and um, keep it in front of them. Now it is a clear water bait. You know, you can see this right here is a chrome color. It's a clear water color, but it's not a bait that has a ton of vibration. You know, a lot of times in these forward facing sonar situations, it can be more of an open water approach, not always. You know, I'll use it to look at cypress trees and, and, and rock and stuff like that in dirty water. But in this scenario, you're really, you're fishing for most oftentimes suspended fish, sometimes fish that are sitting on a target that you're trying to pull off that target. But in my experience, it's been best for fish that are either suspended or chasing bait 